going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Today's a long way to video. I am back in the compound game and I picked up a Prime Black 1. This is their 2020 model. It's an older bowl, but you can find these pretty cheap on Archery Talk. So I still have my Raven R26. My son's going to be using that for this year's archery season. So Prime made a few different versions of this. Prime made the Black 1, Black 3, Black 5, and Black 9. Black 1 is going to be 31 inches axle axle. The 3 is going to be 33 inches axle to axle, the 5 is going to be 35 inches axle to axle, and they also made a 9 which is the 39 inch axle to axle target version. I've always been pretty intrigued by the technology behind Prime bows. As you guys see in my previous videos, I've been shooting Matthews for the past 5-6 years, so I want to switch it up a little bit. So just some quick specs on this, this is a 70 pound bow, 31 inches axle to axle, 7 inch brace height. I'm running a B Stinger 8 inch stabilizer, Montana black gold single pin slider this is the pro version with the four inch dovetail i'm running the hamski hybrid 100 pro really like this rust had this rust last year nothing but great reviews on it i also have a hamski raptor peep this peep here is a total game changer I, the past six seven years i've just been running the g5 peeps and those did just fine not sure if you guys can see but there's baffles inside of it that way it'll reduce glare and i just like the sight picture a little better because it's more of a tunnel all versus a circle and you get a better halo effect basic d loop there i'm running some pine ridge archery string suppressors this bow is somewhat loud from the factory it's not too bad but all prime bows have a little twang to them so I put these on that took it away let's see here i have a bomar grip tape i just installed that last week i also have a video on that check it out really good product this is set at 26 inches i know i have a short draw length but uh, it goes from 25 all the way to 30, which is really nice. And you can change that by changing out this draw stop here. It goes from 1 all the way to 12. You, if you look on Prime's website, each number corresponds with a certain draw length. It goes up by half inch increments. And it does have uh, string stops. Um, so it does not have any limb stops, just string stops. It does have a solid back wall. Again, this does have a 7 inch brace height, which is really forgiving. That's about it for the bow. I mean, it does still have the parallel limbs here. Reasoning behind that is it'll reduce torque. And one unique feature is a top cam is a little bigger than the bottom cam. Reason being it's because they put the grip right in the middle of the bow. And then that means that your D loop's gonna sit a little higher. But that's just the nature of this bow. It does draw really smooth. Let's do a few shots for you guys and see how this bow shoots. One thing I forgot to mention, I am shooting the Easton Axis 5mm. These come in at about 475 grains. I know that's pretty heavy, but I have 15% FOC, which is perfect. I forgot the length on this, but uh, it does have a 75 grain outsert in the front with 100 grain field point. And I'm also running Nocturnal Light and Nox with factory blazer veins. Again, total weight is going to be 475 grains. My release of choice this year is going to be the Scott Apex. All right, sorry to adjust the light there, but uh, the Scott Apex release, I'll do a separate video on this if you guys want. It's a really good release. Like I said, I do shoot these a little bit better. So the draw cycle on this is relatively pretty smooth. It does build up right away, and then it kind of just, within like the last, probably 20% of the draw cycle. It just kind of dumps through the valley. These do have 80% mods on it. I forgot to mention that, but you can adjust the draw stop on here. I forgot which way it goes, but you can adjust it with more or less let off depending on your liking. I just leave right at the number coordinating with my draw length and it works just fine. Again, we're about 43, 40, 42 yards here. We'll do a few more shots for you guys. Knocking the arrows down there. So we'll uh, take a few more shots and see how this bow performs. Alright, so we're sitting here at 30 yards. Just gonna do a few shots for you guys. Again, just a draw cycle feel, vibration, etc.
One thing I did forget to mention is if you are shooting lighted knocks, make sure you set it in with those attached to your arrow just because they do weigh a little bit more and they do change the point of impact. These do weigh about 20 grains compared to the factory knocks, which is around 8 or 9. So just keep that in mind. Dead center. It's a little high, but that'll do. This bow is very, very dead in the hand. When I first got it, it did have a little bit of hand vibration, but with the stabilizer here, it did done that a lot also with this bomar drip tape as funny as it sounds it does absorb some of the vibration so i mean every bow is going to have some type of vibration this bow just has the slightest bit of vibration but compared to the matthews uh, this does have a little bit more let's take a few more shots and uh, i'll give my final thoughts on this bow i haven't shooting this bow for about a month just trying to get back to things all right last grouping for you guys it's gonna be at 70 yards it's gonna be right there I can shoot out to about 80 yards before my sight housing hits my fletchings. I could probably shoot a little farther if I shot lighter arrows for sure, but it's my hunting setup. Shooting an animal at 70 yards is going to be up to you, but for me that's just way out of my league. But I do like shooting far ranges just for fun, and my general rule of thumb is if you can shoot pretty consistent at farther yardages past 60 yards, once you go back and shoot at 40, 30, and 20, you're just going to be that much more proficient. So again, 70 yards, it's going to be right there. It is 70 yards. High right on that one. Tuck it right in the middle. That is all I have for you guys. I just want to show you guys my new bow, which is the Prime Black one. Again, this is a 2020 model. It's not the newest and greatest, but it'll do for this year. Hoping to put a few deer in the ground and uh, film those for you guys. Again, I just want to say thanks to all my subscribers for uh, making me who I am today. And I uh, greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, we'll be doing a giveaway at 3,000 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button below, also the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see separate videos on this, Black Gold and the Scott Apex. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to film those videos and uh, get it uploaded before the season starts. I do have a bear hunt coming up September 1st in Minnesota, so keep an eye out for that video. Hopefully we are successful on getting a bear on the ground. Until next time, be safe everyone.